I want to first talk about Jay Z's acceptance speech oh, um, yes. at, at, at the Grammys. I want to talk about that because there, there's a lot of chatter out there about, you know, uh, first of all, the fact that he said what he said and Absolutely. the timing behind, you know, him saying, you know, what what, what he said. And um, yeah. it just, yeah. yeah. And, and I just think that I, I want to spend a little bit of time talking about that and share with you all something that is very important to me. I don't think that what he said was solely about Beyonce. It was bigger than his wife, you know, not, not being honored or receiving album of the year because the last time a black woman won album of the year was 25 years ago when Lauren Hill won it for the miscommunic uh, mis miseducation of Lauren Hill. And there's only been 12 black people who have won album of the year in the whole history of the Grammys. And before John Baptiste won it in 2022, the last time someone won, uh, last time a black person won uh, album of the year was Herbie Hancock in 20, in 20, oh, in 2008. So, I mean, for me, I'm looking at all this going, like you said, the metric. Mm. You mean to tell me? And this only 12 people out of all the years that they've been doing this, it's, it's something wrong, especially with, the, with people, people who have won multiple awards like his wife. So I, that, that's just my spiel on it. I think it's bigger. I think that a message needs to be sent to the Academy to start thinking differently. And I think that was his way of, of bringing that to life. I do think okay. the matrix to it, but I do think that he was also really speaking directly about his wife. Now, remember, he was being honored with the Dr. Dre Global Impact Award. So he was being honored. And as he stood there with his daughter, Blue Ivy, by his side, he mentioned, and I have his quote here. Think about that. Most Grammys never won album of the year. And he was specifically talking about the fact that his wife, our beloved Beyonce, has won more Grammys than anyone. She's won 32 Grammys and never been given the Album of the Year award. He went on to say, some of you may get robbed. Some of you don't belong in the category. And then he said, when I get nervous, I tell the truth. So it was, he was calling him out for, for sure. And I, I do agree with you that it is greater than just his wife. But he did get his dig in there about the fact that how is it that my wife has won more Grammys than anyone, 32, and never received Album of the Year. Well, yeah. I mean, I got to say something about this. First of all, awards, uh, you know, you guys ask why I don't watch award ceremonies. One, it's because they're more political than they are really about awarding people who deserve <laughs> all that weird thing, yeah. first of all. Yeah. Second of all, you're going to back, my wife has won more awards than anybody, but she hasn't won that one. So I'm going to stand up here and complain about it. Third thing is, that means that she's going to get one next year, whether she deserves it a lot or not. <laughs> the same way that. that Angela Bassett got, uh, yeah. you, know, uh, uh, you know, an Oscar for not getting one the year before. It's an like, honorary. Right. An honorary. And, uh, she still got one. And it was like, okay, well, you want one here? We're just going to keep handing them out. Uh, the, the last thing I want to say on this is it, it's something that came up when, you know, as I was doing theater, um, it's like, if you're going to believe the critics when they say something good, you got to believe them when they say something bad. It's like, it, it, come on. It's an award. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody snubbed when you ain't got, you know, a, 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 a nomination or you don't get an award. It's like the people, and there's a lot of people, who say this is where we want to give it. Whatever their inclinations are, you didn't get one. When Harvey Firestein changed the game by, like, promoting and saying, hey, for your consideration, which is why we see those things everywhere during award ceremonies, it's like everyone's just trying to jockey for position so that they can parlay that into more money. Make good music, make good movies, do a good job, and let that be your reward. Well, I mean, on, on that piece, I'm going to go, he said, he said, <laughs> he said, he said. Okay, and he said. I'm, 